Hi guys and gals, my name is Frank. I'm with Motorsports Land here at 4001 South State in Salt Lake City. I'm here to talk to you about an MPG 2720 uh, made by Cruiser RV, a little bunkhouse model that just came out this year in 2021 and uh, we're loving to show this off. Um, we're gonna start off on this uh, outside here that uh, a lot of people you know, don't understand what kind of footage you have in the exterior of these trailers. And what I mean by that, you're talking about a 20 foot awning um, that sets outside, um, kicks out quite a bit further. As you can see, the arms are kind of retracted in, but you set a mat out here, a table, picnic table, you got collapsible picnic tables, chairs. Um, going up to the outside, these are foldable steps that fold up inside solid steps um, you do have these extension arms on your steps that you can you know if you're on, a, on a, a lake somewhere and that you know ground is tapered towards the lake you go and bury tires in on the back side to level out this side of the trailer will be up a little higher these will be able to extend out to accommodate for that uh, height difference but these just fold up inside lock up inside and drop down solid steps to come in um, mpg comes with a three-year structural warranty which is a great feature to sit down and talk to us about, guys. You come in, um, you're talking to me or any one of the other sales guys, bring that up. Uh, we'll go through that warranty, that three-year structural warranty. Climate control, um, the defense system, that is a wrapped underbelly. As you have that wrapped underbelly, you have a pocket of insulation where your water lines run through, your air vent uh, runs through for your heat vent, um, your tanks are all insulated, and that is kind of ribbed and vented out uh, warm air spreading that warm air under the underbelly so that just not just a wrapped and insulated we go above and beyond mpg and a couple other uh, manufacturers we carry do that it's a nice feature to have um, we do and can order them or afterwards install uh, tank pad heaters they're up a 12 volt system talk to us about that as well entry handle as you close that door you can lock that in entry handle to get in nice sturdy handle as you're walking up the steps these do have electric stabilizing jacks everybody out there that has camped before that has put the little hand cranker and done this hey um you know it's all part of the process of camping but this makes it so much easier just to hit that and these electric stabilizing jacks they come down together um, you want to put a platform up underneath there guys i've talked about this in a few other videos Guys, we do have a uh, back bumper attachment for your barbecue. This will accommodate um, this lip right here. You set your barbecue up on top of that, kick that out and away. Um, that's gonna keep smoke from barreling up onto your fiberglass. And it is, you know, of white color. We don't want that to get all greased up and whatnot. But little barbecue stand comes with this. Um, uh, as far as checking into the barbecue, some come with them, some don't. We'll have to check on the option sheet is what the uh, factories in this day and age, what's available for you and what, how we order these in. But the, the stand does come with this. Um, as you can see the plug back here, it is a 30 amp service. So quick, easy plug in, plug that in. We got a plug into our power, it comes with a 35 foot hose. Back here, we also do have, seeing as I have the cooking back here, we have your barbecue and a few other things were set up. This is a little quick uh, port water, um, that little spray hose that'll come with it with a gun. But you hook up to there, you have that set up. Now it pumps out cold water only, but you can spray off dogs, cats, kids' feet, um, you know, spray off your, uh, your frying pans, pots and pans, stuff like that. You do have your uh, city water connection and your satellite and cable hookup. Uh, this square looking unit right here, that's the hot water tank access point. So you open this up and very easy to, to show exactly where your hot water is and where you need to drain. You got your setup right here, it's on a little hinge. Everything's right there. Your breather valve is right here. Your drain plug right there. Um, everything, this is a self-ignite. So you go inside, you flick the switch and you turn your propane on. This is gonna auto ignite. So you're not back here with a, a lighter at uh, you know midnight trying to flick this on and off and trying to get the pilot lit. This is all done electronically, um, which is nice. One touch, you're set to go with hot water in about maybe 20 minutes or so. Um, housing on the on the back right there, as you can see up towards the top, that's going to be um, housed for a backup camera. So saves you from a lot of work, uh, time and money when you take this a trailer in that does not have this pre-wired for a backup camera. They have to feed a wire, dig in and go into a marker light, bring that down, splice the wire. 
not always done correctly. It's nice to have this factory warranted, factory done. All you gotta do is take off four screws, plate comes off, set up your backup camera, and it's powered up as soon as you power up to your running lights of your trailer. Um, then you will have different screens. They got a four, six, and eight uh, inch screen that you can actually have in front of your vehicle that's gonna coincide RF signal, radio frequency, to um, your, your camera. So that, and be able to see what's going on behind you, switching lanes, you got the whole visual behind your trailer. Now this particular unit, a um, couple of things to talk about, does have your under the bunk storage. And as we talked about the grill, this is the grill that goes on the back. So this does come with a gas grill, the propane, the line, everything hooked up. Let's go underneath. Underneath here, we have two ports here. So we're gonna have your two separate uh, tanks, your gray water, your black water tank. All you're doing at this point is swapping that hose. It's, a, it's just a quarter turn disconnect, take it off, go to your next one, quarter turn, you're locked in, pull your valves, drain them out. And really guys, it's nice to see this visually on camera, but when you come in and talk about it, we'll show you how all this works. Um, obviously for uh, TV purposes and commercial purposes and advertising, we have to go pretty quick with these videos, but we take our time and really settle down with you and show you and explain everything. It's not as difficult as it may seem for first time buyers, we love it. Um, my, you know, our, our numbers and uh, yeah, text, phone calls, emails are at your disposal, uh, which is nice. So we could always help you out. You got any questions, hooking up, disconnecting, we're there for you. Um, but to talk a little further about this, we'd like to actually show you at the time. So coming out to uh, our slide, you can see the size of our slide. The nice thing I like to see about our slide is the amount of windows. You look at these two giant windows you have over the couch and dinette, which we'll look at inside here shortly plus your side windows. Nice thing to talk about, your side walls, guys. Can't uh, talk about this enough. Um, manufacturers, and there's a couple other videos you'll see me doing this on, but pounding on this right here. This is not thin cardboard. This is gonna be an insulated wall. Ex obviously this is um, exterior as you see, but this is also solid and insulated. Um, a lot of these are just single cardboard, that window is rattling and shaking. We love the time, the, you know, the effort that they put into this build on this MPG. Um, it's definitely something that's gonna be around for a while, folks. On top there, the, uh, um, we do put a little bracket that MPG puts on there. Now that bracket's already set up and you can see the track that's over top of the slide itself. It's, it's a, a little water drain system on top of there as well as the brackets where you can put a slide topper. Um, well, what that is, is like an awning over the slide. Going in, we're gonna go on the other side of this too, but going in, you can see how big that front uh, storage area is. It's fantastic. You look up underneath, we start seeing your actual plywood, and we aren't see, we're seeing your framing, which is your aluminum construction. Um, you do have a solar, external solar plug. So you pop this little cap off, and right there is your little oval plug. Some will have a round plug. This has an oval, there's adapters for solar panels, for external panels. We plug in there, this is actually wired right to the batteries. So as you're using your batteries, LED lights all throughout, which is nice. So you're not really draining your battery using the lights, but you plug a solar panel in here and that thing will just charge your batteries up. It's nice. And the bigger the panel, the more the charge or quicker the charge. Looking up here, we got your two five gallon propane tanks. That's gonna come from factory. Yes, we could go up to seven and a half gallon tanks, but we're telling a lot of people this. Five gallon tanks will last you a lot longer than people think in a trailer. Um, if you're out in a cold, uh, you have 10 gallons of propane. Anybody that's used a barbecue, you know that you know the worst convenience time after the 10th barbecue, you have to run to the store and what do you do? Swap one out. You're not making a call, you're not trying to find somewhere to go and fill the seven and a half gallon tanks. You can swap these out at gas stations, at you know, the grocery stores, a lot of different places. So easier to swap these out than find somewhere to fill them for the seven and a half gallon. Um, so they go with the five gallon tanks and they do last quite a while. So you're looking at your, um, your little electric tongue jack, has an LED light for nighttime hookup, um, makes this really easy to hook up to your truck, especially if you're using an equalizer hitch, which we highly recommend, which we do have the equalizer brand hitches here. We do install them here and talk to us about that when you come in, but uh, it makes it really easy to uh, hook up. Now, a cool little feature on this guy, your LED light out inside, which is cool. Um, we do have a little switch right here for the LED light, so you make sure you shut that off. This is a cool feature that they've done. We haven't seen anything really happen with these guys, with anybody else. 
lift that. As far as your heavy tools, hard to get, uh, you know, points of, of uh, you know, tools and whatnot. This tray right here drops into the floor itself, so you have a lot of the easy stuff to get to. Say you need to get to your wrenches or any few other things that are your toolboxes up underneath here, which is pretty cool. Or you hide your snacks from the kids. You never know. But that drops right into the floor. So how that rolls out, nice and easy. I'm using even one finger just to pop this in and out. Uh, pretty convenient. Drop that lid down. This is a little magnet that holds the lid so it doesn't come slamming down. But uh, yeah, a lot of room and additional room set inside again. Well, we're gonna go pop inside and go take a look at the inside of this trailer and follow me, I'll uh, see you inside. Okay guys, we're inside this uh, 2720 MPG uh, made by Cruiser RV. It's a bunkhouse model. Uh, I love how this shows the bunk beds back here. Nice little caves back set in here and these are double over double beds. So double over double bunk beds. As you can see, good size. We have window on both. Window on the back, window on the side of this. So um, a lot of complaints that we do here about other trailers when people walk in is, I want something with bunks, but I want something where the kids can look out a window, have some light, um, have some airflow. These have them. You're looking at underneath here, you do have storage underneath the bunk. Plus, remember that storage that we looked in the outside, uh, driver's side also has a big pocket of storage. Storage is key with trailers. We understand. <laughs> here we go at our bathroom. So this does have a separate entrance. Um, nice big shower, has a pan, does not have a bathtub. The toilet, simple things about these guys I'm gonna to mention to you and we'll talk about when you come in is that this is faced on an angle for a good reason. Um, sitting down on a toilet in a camper used to be very difficult. Just the fact that this is actually angled the way it is gives you a lot of leg room for even the big guys. Um, you know, it really is a comfortable setup. You got storage under the sink. You do have a little vanity with a mirror, with a door, store all your stuff up there. Talking about storage, once again, solid door, nice, can be locked, of course. Talk about your pantry size. Where do you put your cereal boxes, your soup, your, I mean, your crackers, your, you know, stuff for s'mores. I mean, just a ton of room in your pantry, which is nice. Not little itty bitty tiny cabinets, full size door. They open a the door. You say, kids, go get that. It's in the pantry. There's only one where to look and it's gonna be there when you load it. Going into the uh, eight cubic foot refrigerator. This is a gas uh, propane run, so gas and electric. This actually is nice when you close this up, this becomes counter space. So building a sandwich, um, setting up plates, setting up all stuff for peanut butter and jelly. You have all this covered up for counter space. Obviously you need your sink. It's a nice big deep well farm sink. Um, faucet turns back and forth. Soaking uh, trays, you know, anything like that. You can soak in this nice big sink here. Flush mount to set up. You put just cover back on. Now you've got more counter space. Going into our cabinets over the sink. You do have or over the cabinet itself. Nice deep. These will accommodate. We've seen these before where they're so short, you can't even put a paper plate in here, but these are pretty deep. I don't know the exact measurement, but you're about that deep on that uh, cabinet. So I, obviously for a, a lot of storage purposes, um, opening up your blinds of the window in here in the kitchen to see what the kiddos are doing, um, waiting for the next order for a sandwich, whatever it is. But coming over here to your dinette, you do have, and I love this, and you think about this, this is true through my trial and error. Um, guys, the heavy stuff goes underneath. <laughs> cast iron pots, cast iron pans, uh, putting them in a drawer, all it does is when you're bouncing down the road to just slam those hinges and slam your drawers. This is right on the floor. Two of those, one on each side. They're accessible um, by lifting the cushions and lifting that uh, piece of plywood, not particle board, but actual plywood. Uh, maple plywood to, to, you know, to, for the seating, but to gain access into it. So if something goes in the back, you can lift the seats up, get back to it. This will drop down to a bed. So you do have this lip that runs across both sides. Table, posts come out, table drops down. You use this as the spacer board. These fillers will come out and fill in as your, um, your bedding. Now you do have your roughly six feet from 
edge to edge of this. So maybe a couple of kiddos, um, an adult for sure, uh, comfortably, um, preferably under six foot. <laughs> if not, he's curling up a little. Um, we do have another one here too. So this is actually gonna be a trifold bed. So this sets up pretty easily. You take these cushions off. We'll run through this real quick and show you how quick this is for putting somebody to bed. Very simple process, very light. Then again, two fingers, bring that up, kick out these two legs, grab right here, pull this out, drop this down, and you've got yourself a bed. Put these cushions back in the setup right there. They can kick up and uh, watch TV if they'd like and do their thing. But really nice, easy setup for another uh, couple of folks to couple of people asleep here to put this away real quick you can still get through too so you can still skim through to get to the restroom if you're in the main bedroom but to put away once again just fold these two in and put your cushions back in pretty simple setup very convenient and you'll find that uh, sometimes you'll have the kiddos bring a friend or two, or you're bringing a friend, and you have a spot to, you know, to kick it for sure and take a, take a nap. It does come with a sound bar. Um, this is pretty nice too. It's a Bluetooth sound bar. You can hook up your DVD player. This comes in an extension mount um, for your TV, so you can actually kick this out, and it uh, comes out quite a ways. So you can set that up from your booth, from your couch, TV setup kiddos want to be in bed to watch a movie they can face head forward on their bellies be able to watch a film family night uh, movie night your accent lighting up behind here the led kind of a nice little feature a little switch right here for it an additional storage up over top once again anybody who tells you it's had rvs storage you can't have enough storage <laughs> here you go with your deeper storage as well we've seen these where they've only been about four inches doesn't make much sense, but these are pretty deep as well, all the way across this whole wall. Of course, sitting up anything on the sides. And we'd love to talk about this. This is a king size bed. Okay guys, not just a king size bed. A lot of other beds will have a flip up right here. This is actually a pretty cool design. This is a latch that sits up underneath here, and then you can push this over. And now you have all this storage underneath the bed right here. So you see we've got our box full of goodies here, um, but this is all storage up underneath the bed. Once you're done with that, um, bring it back over, the space out and set up. So now you have your walk around bed again. Of course, once again, deep storage all the way across the front. Um, we do have your outlets that are up. We have USB ports and two 110 outlets um, on both sides with your additional lighting that you could hook up for your side lights, reading lights over the top. Uh, pretty sweet little setup. It does have a vent over the uh, top of this. And if you look at the MPG guys, we've kind of talked about everything at eye level. I want to take you back to your air conditioning unit, which is your flush mount air conditioning. We can see how tall this is. And now it might be kind of deceiving to look at, but these barrel ceilings just give you so much headroom. So for those folks that are looking at, you know, their husbands or, or, or their wives are six foot and above, I mean, that really helps out with your headspace. So a uh, pretty nice feature. Um, above the stove and below the stove, we do have a small oven that we didn't talk about earlier, but it does have a little oven and has your microwave sitting up top here, glass tray in there, hood vent lights, hood vent itself. Nice quiet hood vent, sucks all that smoke up for cooking on the outside. So guys, I'd love to show you a little more about this and talk to you a little more about this. My name is Frank, this is Motor Sports Land. We hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough and we hope to talk to you soon. We'll see you out in a lot. Let motor sports land guide you to the dreams that live.